The seven star Terroid for Inteleon is now back for its second phase in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all the details in today's video, as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your games. So as of recording this video on the 5th of May, running through till the 7th of May, Inteleon will be making its return to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Like I mentioned, this will be its second phase where it will be appearing in the seven star terror raids. And if you miss the first event on the 28th of April, you'll have the chance to catch this in your game. Just remember, you can only catch one of these per save file. It is gonna have the mightiest mark. Its moveset is gonna be Blizzard, Snipeshot, Dog Pulse, Tearful Look, and additional moves. It's gonna have is mist and snowscape will of course be level 100 and have that ice terror typing as well and even if you've already caught inteleon in your game it's a great terror raid just to farm for the high cost items that you can get for every time you beat the inteleon and get a bunch of xl candies and large candies you're gonna get ice terror shards as well as well as tm blizzard you're gonna have the chance to get ability patches ability capsules and a bunch of other high cost items so like i say this second phase will be running from the 5th until the 7th of May. Of course, the event itself finishes on the 7th of May, but if you don't go online after this date, you can keep this Terror Raid event in your games to farm for those high cost items as long as you want until the next time you go online. So to access this event in your game, you need to come to your Poker Portal and down into Mystery Gifts and then to check Poker Portal News. This will connect you to the internet and you'll get a quick update once you are connected. And after that, all of your Terror Raid dens in the area will be updated with this seven star Inteleon Terror Raid event. After you've updated your game, you can just come onto your map and then locate the new seven star Terror Raid event. It will look like a six star Terror Raid, but it will have an ice terror typing. So here it is here. You can mark it up on your map and just head over to it. We've got four Pokemon in today's video and they will all be linked down in the description if you want to take a closer look at them after the video. Of course, the first one is going to be Annihilate. We featured this in our first phase of the Inteleon Terror Raid event. This one is holding the Expert Belt. It can hold the Covert Clock or the Metronome item. This is going to have the Fighting Terror type on it, although you can choose an opt to go for the Ghost Terror typing and go with the Rage Fist option. It is just as viable, but this one playing off the Drain Punch, the more super effective attack. Move set is going to be Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Sunny Day and Rage Fist with an EV spread of 252 Attack, 252 Special Defense. That's just to give you a bit more staying power on the field so you can take those big special attacking moves that are coming out from Inteleon. It doesn't have a threat from a physical side, so no need to invest on that end with an adamant nature. And the most important thing is that defined ability that's going to take advantage of that tearful look that the Inteleon will use sporadically throughout the raid, where it will boost your attack to plus three because it's lowering your attack stat and your special attack stat by two stages. So the defined ability will proc and you'll get a huge buff to your attack stat, making it a lot easier to beat when you go into to this raid. The basic premise of this build is Sunny Day Turn 1 to get rid of the snowscape that the Inteleon sets up. Then use a combination of Drain Punch until you see the Inteleon nullify abilities and stat drops on your side of the field. Do this, try and get three bulk ups off and then just go for those Drain Punches, Terrestrialize, and you'll be able to run through the Inteleon no trouble at all. The next Pokemon we're gonna feature is King Gambit. King Gambit gonna be a Dark and Steel type and gonna have that Steel type advantage over the ice type Inteleon with the steel terror typing we're going to have the shell belt as the item on here again we're going to use that defined ability that is very important for this king gambit again like the annihilate just to take advantage of that tearful look so you get boosts instead of drops when the Inteleon uses it the ev spread on this king gambit is 252 hp 252 attack although you can take the hp investment out and put it all into special defense if you prefer but this spread works just fine. It has got an Adam nature and the moveset is Sword Stance, Taunt, Kowtow Cleave and Iron Head. So the basic premise of this moveset is to utilize the Iron Head straight off the bat. You'll probably see the Inteleon go for the tier for luck. It'll give you the boosts and you don't really want to waste any of the sword stances until you see the abilities and stat boosts nullified on your side of the field which like i say will be around turn four so you just want to go for those iron heads it'll get you in a position where you can terrestrialize pretty early once you can terrestrialize go for those sword stances try and get three sword stances to boost your attack if you need to you might have tier for luck boosts as well which will speed that whole process up 
and then just go for those iron heads you've got taunt there if you want to shut down the snowscape being set up again for that defensive boost to the intellion and the one thing that i would say that the annihilate has an advantage over the king gambit is that you're going to be able to get rid of that snowscape whereas with the king gambit you can't unfortunately and the Intellion will have a defensive boost because of the interaction there that it gets that defense boost with the Snowscape active on the field. So that is King Gambit. The next Pokemon up is going to be Iron Hands. Another great choice going into this raid. We've got the Metronome item on here. You can go for something like an Expert Belt or a Covert Cloak, even if you would like. Fighting Terra type on this Iron Hands. It is very important for this particular Pokemon. We've got a move set of Focus Energy, Close Combat, Sword Stance, and Dragon. Drain Punch. Essentially, all you're really going to need on this move set is going to be Sword Stance and Drain Punch. The other two moves are complete fillers. We've got the Quark Drive ability with an EV spread of 252 Attack, 252 Special Defense with an Adamant Nature. Basic premise of this move set is to just Sword Stance up as much as possible. You can go for that Focus Energy. I would preferably go for it after turn four, after it has nullified your stats and abilities for one turn, and then try and get those Sword Stances up. To not only negate the effects of the tier for luck but also to try and get your attack stat to a good state where you could be plus six and then start launching your drain punches off into the Inteleon and it's going to be pretty easy once you have terrestrialized with those boosts to your attack to take it down. And our final Pokemon for those of you that want to use something a little bit different going into this raid this weekend it is going to be Gothitelle and it is going to have the Psychic Terra typing going to have the Shell Bell as an item so it's got a line of recovery when we do attack and the main reason we're choosing Gothitelle is because it has that competitive ability. So it's a bit like Defiant where if you take any stat drops instead of the drops you're going to get boosts but rather than like Defiant to your attack stat you're going to get them to your special attack stat. Making Gothitelle pretty potent very early on in the battle. The EV spread we've got for this Gothitelle is 252 HP, 252 special attack with a modest nature, the rest put in special defense and then a moveset of Psychic Terrain, Calm Mind, Nasty Plot and Stored Power. Now the basic premise of this one is turn one, try and get your Psychic Terrain up. So it just gives you that initial boost with the Stored Power and then go for Stored Powers, getting yourself into a position where you can terrestrialize. After this, go for a combination of Calm Minds after you see the stats nullified and abilities nullified for a turn. And then you can start boosting up your special attack again with your special defense. And the nasty plots there in case you decide you want a quicker means to get some boosts. Although the boost to your special defense are way more valuable in this match just to allow you a bit more staying power. When you're boosted up plus six across the board on your special attack and special defense, then you want to start launching those stall powers. Make sure you've got the psychic terrain up. And once you do, you're going to be hitting for crazy amounts of damage with this Gothitelle. And it does give you a different option to these other Pokemon. It's not hitting for super effective damage, but you would be surprised at the damage you can do with the stored power once the Gothitelle is completely set up. But this is a Gothitelle. Like I said, just a little bit of a different option for those of you that want to go into these raids and maybe have a bit more more of a challenge this weekend but the Gothitelle is still pretty good and will be quite surprising if you do try it yourselves definitely if you do try it of course let me know down in the comments section below and of course just in case you weren't aware if you beat the Inteleon or you've caught it and then you want to go after it again just to farm the good item drops that this event gives you then you can respawn the seven star terror raid pretty easily by just clicking your home menu then come down into system settings then into system down to date and time Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off. Click into your date and time and then just toggle all the way through and then hit the OK button and then come back to the home screen and back into game. And you'll see all your dens in the area will respawn and that seven star terror raid event will be one of them. So you can locate it once again and then just farm this raid for those item drops. So that is everything for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found it useful. If you have, drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our posts. Pokemon Skull and Violet content and let me know down in the comment section below what you think the next seven star terror it will be coming into these games it will be announced around midnight on Sunday evening so looking forward to that one and I'll look forward to reading through all of the comments to see who is right on Sunday evening thanks again friends take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all for another video on the channel very soon so until then take care and bye bye